Talk Ed. I'm Chris Ford, and I'm joined as always by Dr. Zahi Atala. Zahi, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, and I'm doing even better because we're joined today by Dr. Melissa Lanta. Melissa? Wonderful. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> So let me let me ask you this last uh, couple of topics that we covered with you uh, revolved around choosing a career, choosing an institution, how to address our own personal goals and situ life situations with the advisor. But the big question that that uh, many people face and sometimes dissuade them from higher education is the cost. Right? We're all bombarded by by ads that that speak highly of this institution versus another one how fast you can get through this institution how affordable it is uh, and what have you but uh, as an academic advisor as a registrar how have you counseled individuals with regard to their finances it does it differ between youth straight out of school versus a returning adult, versus somebody who's got a family, part-time, full-time. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, I think um, that in one of the, the messages that, that I think resonates throughout that uh, all of the things that we talked about is to gather more information, right? Don't um, decide that you can't afford it until you get more information. Because I think that there are a number of um, opportunities and, and ways to finance college uh, that that maybe um, people don't know or they don't understand how, what is my portion going to be right. We see we see a, a price tag and this is is the, the cost of college, but what does it break down to in um, cost for for me or for my family and i think it's really valuable to get that information before making decisions too so um, as as people are, are thinking of different colleges or exploring different opportunities um you know they they see a price tag and may go like we can't afford that and i think it's valuable to get more information. So if you've completed the FAFSA, which in and of itself, it can be a huge challenge. Um, but knowing that you know, there are financial aid offices, that there are people that can help with that um, and really walk you through um, it is important. So I mean, FAFSA is a huge part. So the, the financial aid piece is a huge part. But there are other components that that may go into helping to finance your education um, that meeting someone like an advisor, like with a financial aid uh, staff person that that may provide just kind of more information about how what is the, the real cost of, of educate of the degree itself. So you mentioned FAFSA. It's the free application for federal student aid, right? Uh, but there are certain states uh, that offer uh, certain fee waivers or additional mm -hmm. grants to the students. There are also, in addition to the uh, aid, there are federal uh, loans that the individual can take. Uh, there's also the uh, scholarship, fellowship, all sorts of institutional or sometimes mm -hmm. regional uh, um, Pots of money that the individual is is eligible uh, to uh, dip into. Is that a conversation that the individual would start with an advisor? Is that an a conversation that the individual should have with her himself before going to college, or, or should I just get the sticker shock and say, okay, I'm gonna live with it, or oh, I can't touch it. Um, I think, you know, looking, like you said, looking at maybe some of the other components that we've talked about and ma making a decision about a college before necessarily deciding just based off of, of the cost. So I think you need to ha have both pieces, right? You need to, to make sure that this is going to be a good fit for you in um, all of the other ways that, that we've talked about. And then with the cost, knowing that, um, you know, what it is, 
and then you know, reaching out and, and connecting with someone at the college to see if they can help support you in really kind of breaking that down. Because as you mentioned, there are so many different different aspects and especially, so I'll, I'll speak as a, a first generation student as well. Like you know, my parents had no idea. Like I, I went to a private college right out of um, high school and the cost was um, huge, right? But um, we were able to work with with people at the college to understand like, oh, here's how much you have for for fabs. Like, here's some scholarships that you're eligible for. Here's this and that that I would have never known about. So there might be opportunities from like I said, scholarships to, you know, if you you or your um, someone in your family was in the military I mean, the money from, from the GI bill might be an, an option for you. And if you don't know, then, then you don't know that that's, that's something that, that may be able to support you. Um, so, um, and also, you know, work study is, is another thing that I think students sometimes don't know about or understand as part of financial aid, you know, having the ability to uh, work on campus or in within the, the institution in different areas to, again, help support and, and provide a salary for, for the students um, as well to, to help support those costs. And I think, you know, work study can be wonderful in so many different ways from, like I said, helping with that that cost component and and paying for college, but also gaining those skills while you work um, and, and making those, those connections and networking. So um, a lot of different things that, you know, higher ed can be super confusing. So going in, knowing that, that it's okay to not know and, and hopefully having the, the people at the college who are, um, you know, talking to you about all of your options and, and all of the ways that, that the college can support you or help to support you um, so that you can understand at the end of the day, what is my contribution, um, which is different or could be potentially different than, than the cost that, that you see on their website. Well, right, and that's very that. important because, uh, and I keep on interrupting Chris today. Yes. Lucky Chris. <laughs> Uh, just, I'm going to qu quickly say it's, it, there's the fees in addition to the tuition, there are the book, uh, textbook costs, there are uh, tools and in, in certain things that an individual needs to buy uh, during their education that hopefully could be used beyond uh, the institution. Those are things that an advisor should be able to help the student with. Is that right? That is right, because they're, they're understanding that it, what are kind of quote unquote, some of those hidden fees, like here's the tuition, but what else might you need? So having those conversations and then not just what are those fees, but what are those opportunities to, um, are there things within the, the college that can um, help decrease that cost? So are there programs to, that the student can apply for that may help them purchase the, the equipment that they need? Or is this a college that uses um, open access uh, or you rent your books versus buy them? So I think you know there, there are a lot of different pieces that when you look at the cost, there might be other things going on or other ways to, to um, finance those that, that both an advisor and financial aid can help to at least begin those conversations and provide more information about. Yeah, and I want to go back and, and put in a plug on work study too. Um, you know, as we've kind of talked about choosing careers and, and those sorts of things, um, a lot of colleges, including the one where I work, do a really good job of trying to make sure that students in their work study are placed in areas of interest to them. Uh, so it almost becomes like an internship, an opportunity to, you know, see what that job might be like on, you know, a very light basis. But, you know, you get that experience, you get the opportunities to see what it like, what it's like and see if that's what you want to continue to pursue while getting paid. 
And I think one of the things that that maybe students sometimes don't don't recognize too is, you know, as with an outside job, depending on, on the, the the job, um, if you have an employer that is very flexible, that's wonderful. But there might be work or positions that aren't flexible with your school schedule. And for the most part, I mean, work study works knows that that you're a student and, and really tries to work with you and with your schedule around classes. And so there is that that flexibility there too that you can look at, do I want to work outside of the college um, and maybe have to to maneuver, you know, the the time, dates and times versus having this work study opportunity and, and maybe having a little bit more flexibility because they know your students first, right? In 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 that sense. Absolutely. Well, I know uh, this is a topic that we could go into a lot of depth on, and uh, the three of us, none of us are, are complete financial aid experts, and it's there is a lot in the financial aid world. Um, but, you know, I think definitely it's important uh, to find out, you know, to ask the questions as, you know, a student to find out where you need to go, what you need to do. Um, and not just right off of college, just because the price tag looks really, really high initially. So uh, with that said, Melissa, I'd like to thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, your time. Absolutely. And uh, if you enjoy Let's Talk Ed, be sure and subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. You'll get notifications when we post new content. So for Dr. Zahi Atala, I'm Chris Ford. We'll see you next time right here on Let's Talk Ed.